Welcome Rec Room players! This tutorial is about setting up leaderboards. Today, you'll learn about how to use the set leaderboard chip, and how to configure the leaderboard projector. Leaderboards allow you to track high scores in your rooms. The really exciting thing about leaderboards is that they allow players to save information about themselves to the Rec Room servers, and then to look up that same information later on during a different visit to that room, or even inside a different subroom. The information players save can be used to save and look up all kinds of stuff, like players' high scores, fastest times like in Stuntrunner, or even player stats like experience points, levels, gold, and inventory. Now let's see how to spawn a leaderboard projector using your Maker Pen. If you want to spawn a leaderboard projector, start by opening up your watch, tap the backpack button, and then hit Use on your Maker Pen to pull out your Maker Pen in front of you. Hit the Open Palette button, pull your palette in front of you. You can find the leaderboard projector under Props, Dynamic Props, and on the second page you'll see Leaderboard Projector. You can close your palette menu, and then use the Create button on the Maker Pen to spawn a leaderboard projector. Here's a closer look at the leaderboard projector. It should look familiar to Rec Room players who have seen the scoreboards for games like Laser Tag, Paintball, and Stunt Runner. The first thing to notice is that there's a button in the lower left that lets you cycle the leaderboard through boards for three different types of player info. By default, these are called Stat1, Stat2, and Stat3. Let's look at the configuration options for the leaderboard projector. Open the configuration menu by using the Configure tool on your Maker Pen. The configuration menu is broken into three similar sections, one for each channel. The five options in each section are Show or Hide, Full Name, Short Name, Ascending or Descending, and Integer or Time. First is a Show Hide option. By default, all three sections are set to Show. If you don't want some of the channels to show on the leaderboard, just uncheck the box for those channels. Next is the Full Name text field. Whatever you enter here will appear in the top left of the leaderboard whenever that stat channel is selected. Third is the short name text field. Whatever you enter here will appear above the column of numbers on the right, and also on the lower left button for cycling between stat channels. Fourth is an option to sort ascending or descending. This chooses the order of the numbers or times in the right-hand column, either highest to lowest, or lowest to highest. One of the really important options in this menu is the selection between integer or time. This controls what kind of value is displayed in the right-hand column of the leaderboard. Integer just means numbers, positive, negative, or zero. The time option is really convenient. This tells the leaderboard to look at a number and assume that it's a number of milliseconds. Then, it automatically formats those milliseconds into minutes, seconds, and hundredths of a second. This makes it really easy for the Stunt Runner button to connect up with the leaderboard. Let's look at how to spawn a set leaderboard chip. If you want to spawn a set leaderboard chip, look at your Maker Pen menu, open up your palette, and you're going to find the set leaderboard chip under Gadgets, and then under the Other Chips filter. On the first page, you'll see the set leaderboard chip. Tap it and then use the Create tool on your Maker Pen to spawn a set leaderboard chip. Let's take a closer look at the input pins and configuration options of the set leaderboard chip. The set leaderboard chip is the beginning point for the whole leaderboard system. It's the place where the game writes down information about a player so that the leaderboard projector or the get leaderboard chip can look up those numbers later. The set leaderboard chip has three input pins. The green stat channel pin corresponds to the three stat channels we were just looking at on the leaderboard. This pin only works with the number 1 through 3. The easiest way to set up your set leaderboard chip is just to use the configure tool on your maker pen to set a default value on the green pin. That ties the set leaderboard chip up with one specific stat channel. The blue value pin is where the magic happens. This is the pin where you'll send the piece of information players will see later on on the leaderboard. Finally, the red player ID pin does two things. First, sending a non-zero value to this pin is what activates the chip. The value of the signal you send here should be the player ID of the player whose information is being saved and written to the servers. There is one important configuration option in the set leaderboard chip. To access the configuration menu, use the configure tool in your maker pen. Let's look at the set behavior option. 
This allows you to select one of four modes for the set leaderboard chip. First, the default mode is set always. This simply means that when you activate the chip, the number on the blue value pin gets saved and written to the server no matter what. Next, there are the set if greater and set if less modes. You can think of these modes as filters. In the set if greater mode, Rec Room will automatically compare the value on the blue value pin to the value already saved on the server. If that value is a higher number, then, then the new value will be saved. And otherwise, nothing happens. Set if less is really similar. Uh, the new number is compared to the old number, and if the number is lower, then it gets saved. And otherwise, nothing happens. Last is the increment mode. This is an addition function. The value on the blue value pin gets sent to the server, and then the old value and new value are automatically added together. This is a great way to keep track of player stats like experience points or money. That's all for now about the leaderboard projector and the set leaderboard chip. You can also use the get leaderboard chip to look up the numbers you saved and use them to control circuits and gadgets. Look for another tutorial video all about the get leaderboard chip. If this video was helpful, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to Rec Room for more tutorials and lots of fun videos.